So we're inside of Linkit and we're assuming that you've already used Data Locker to enter in the results, the scores. And so now we're inside of our reporting dashboard. And what we're going to do is drag in our end of the year, because that's what we're using in this example. And what we're going to do at this point, once we drag in end of year, we're going to click on this little green icon to show student results. And the next step is to go over to select columns. And link it has changed up a little thing here. We need to click select all twice under once under general information. And then again, under score types, we're going to select all. Then we're going to click OK. Now at this point, we're going to export the data out of Linkit. We're going to go to Options, choose Export as CSV for Excel. Doesn't matter where you save at this point, because really what you're looking for is down here. Don't click this guy. Leave that one right there. At that point, the next thing we want to do is go to Google Drive. And I have created a folder here, 2018, 2019, end of year, pre-K. And I have this area here that says Drop Files. And then what we're going to do is drag this CSV file. Don't click once, because then it'll launch it. What we want to do is click and hold, and then drag and drop that file into this folder. At this point, what I want you to do is right click the file and then choose rename and add your last name, all right, maybe comma first name to this. Okay, hit OK on that one. Double click the file to open it. Let's assume that you wanted to analyze your data. Okay, so doing that, you would go to the add-ons menu, and of course I'm assuming that you already have the Tools of the Mind Reporter add-on installed. If not, you would go to Get Add-ons, you would choose instead of All, go to For Long Branch, and you're looking for this guy here. Follow all of the prompts and you'll get the add-on installed. So let's click Add-ons again, let's go to Tools of the Mind Reporter, go to Reports. At this point, there's a couple things you need to do. All you have to do is select the age range, uh, the, the age, and then click Convert and Analyze. Give that a minute or less to produce the result before you close this sidebar. Once you see this here, you can close this sidebar. What we'd love for you to do at this point is to print this and give this to your principal. So go ahead and click the printer icon. And if you like landscape or portrait, I, I recommend uh, portrait personally. And then please, if you come down to headers and footers, check off the box that says workbook title. That'll put your name on the page for you, all handy dandy like. And then click on the next button and choose, make sure you're choosing the appropriate printer. Click the print icon. And then once that's done being spit out the machine, if you could walk that down to your principal, they would be very grateful. And that is how you can analyze your tools of the mind data quickly.